<laughs> Wait, this is this is what they're removing? This right here, this this has caused an uproar in China. Epic Seven is trending right now, and for all the wrong reasons, as there might have been irreparable damage done to the game, signaling the end of an era. At least within China. And if you think about it, China is very important to the game because it is a large source of revenue that they cannot lose. Now there are two different things that I want to discuss today. On the one hand, Epic 7's Chinese server to remove prominent male character's skin, which features him in a dress from the game entirely, which is absolutely ludicrous. And then this thread, which was opened over on the Epic 7 subreddit, stating pretty much all female characters got nerfed for the Chinese server. And by nerfed, it means that the skins were altered for almost all of the characters. It's never a good sign. I mean, who doesn't appreciate hot waifus in video games? I mean, uh, evidently China, but who else? Reset era, I guess too. <laughs> So first and foremost, let's take a look at the Ether skin or Ether skin. Oh, that's the little Prince character, right? Right. I I'm going to be honest here. When I first saw him, I actually thought he was a girl. <laughs> Wait, this is this is what they're removing. This right here. This, this has caused an uproar in China. Are you serious? This this is that looks incredible. Why is this something that they need to censor? Why is this something they need to remove? That's no. Do have they never watched anime? This happens all the time in anime. Like I'm watching Black Butler right now with Mrs. Sticks, and in Black Butler, CL, one of the main characters, where is a dress? Was that censored in China as well? Hello, like this is a common recurring theme in anime. This is a common recurring theme in Asian video games. That is what was removed. Are we serious? Jesus fucking Christ. Oh my God. <laughs> um, yet yeah, naturally something like that. <laughs> yeah, the internet. Holy shit. You know what? I, I gotta get back into Epic 7. Oh my god. I was wondering what took so long. Oh, so this was expected then. Epic 7 was too successful in China and probably got mass reported. China sure knows how to make people's lives better. Every boring lame man in the CCP secretly wishes they could wear women's clothes. And this was just too much of a provocation for them. <laughs> Oh no. All right, well, I mean, that that is ridiculous, but moving on. Now, before we get into the second topic, I'm gonna take a moment here to thank our incredible patrons over on Patreon who allow for me to continue to do videos like this every single day. You guys are absolutely incredible. They are censoring a large number of waifus i actually remember her skin this was her character's skin they don't even look like they're the same size like not even <laughs> remotely close to being the same dimensions my god that actually looks like a horrible paint job like someone just opened the paint pool and then just brushed over it <laughs> i mean I, I wish i knew all the character names so i could open them in and see the comparison between characters. There actually looks like there's a website, epic7x.com, that allows me to sort through and locate the wife who's in question. So I found the I found the wizard. Oh my god. They are really dude, who would even want to play the Chinese version now? That is an abomination. And they literally went down multiple sizes. This is fucking horrible. Oh my god. Wow. Next we have Luna. There is just no way. There is absolutely no way they went from being the size of her head to being tiny. Holy shit. Shit, that is actually, okay, like, hear me out. Typically when games are censored, all right, when characters are censored, what they do is they add additional clothing. This isn't adding additional clothing. This is actually drastically reducing the entire part of the body 
to something that looks completely different. My god, and that is for every single character. I just... Holy shit. Wow. Heavy breathing. <laughs> Sylvan Sage looks so weird. It's like she has two rows of... <laughs> uh, some of them look so bad. Like, in terms of quality, rather than the change to the character design, they just look really half-assed and poorly hastily done. Thank you, God. I was born in a free country and I can watch anime. <laughs> Just China being China. Holy hell, these look like half-assed Photoshop AI edits. And there's your typical looks better comment. Wow, they don't even look good. Look at how they massacred my girls. Rip Chinese players won't even know what they're missing. I don't know. I feel like this, this very well may be enough to force Chinese players to evacuate the game. There might be a mass exodus of Chinese players after this censorship. This is actually some of the worst censorship that I have ever seen. Typically, in gacha games, as noted, they do censor certain areas of the character, but they typically tend to keep the sizes intact. And it tends to be for a character or two in specific. It is not typically for the entire roster of characters. This is next level. I have never seen such a large number of female characters, waifus, get censored to this extent. This is horrible and sets a very, very bad precedent for China, gacha games, games in general released within China. Seriously, what the actual fuck goes through these people's heads? Now, if Epic Seven isn't a, a game you're interested in, absolutely no problem. I got you covered with two different videos on screen right now that might be more interest to you.